neither of my parents had gone to college and um, still don't speak a lot of English. So um, I was fortunate that we had such a great state school and um, absolutely the engineering program at, um, at URI called to me. I was really fortunate um, in the fifth grade, one of my math teachers recognized that I had an aptitude for math and suggested that I join a program to increase math engineering science students and we were able to visit with engineers. And so I had the opportunity to meet engineers who played a really important role in my life as role models. Um, before that time, I'm not sure I knew what engineering was. And to be honest, at that time, I also didn't know what I wanted to do, um, but I knew I didn't want to live from paycheck to paycheck. And I thought engineering um, provided a lot of opportunities. Every engineer that I met was doing something different and very interesting. And um, from an early age, I recognized that a degree in engineering um, would open up a lot of doors for me and provide a lot of different options. Going to Washington for um, an, a political appointment was first an honor, um, and I felt just really fortunate to have that opportunity to serve this great country that I feel has given so much to me. It was such an amazing learning experience. Being the first uh, full-time technology transfer coordinator for the Department of Energy had its, challenging, his ch its challenges, but also um, it was extremely exciting um, to be in Washington at a time where there, was, uh, there is a lot of attention being focused on technology transfer. Technology transfer uh, may be a new word to you, and I know I live and breathe it, so it um, seems obvious to me. But technology transfer, I think everyone could understand. Um, it's a process, again, of taking scientific discoveries from the lab to the marketplace. I'm just very fortunate I have a job that I absolutely love um, that enables me to really use my skills and also do the thing that I enjoy most, and which is interacting with people. Um, this, the whole area of technology transfer and now corporate relations, it's all about relationship building and working with folks um, to find that win-win um, scenario of what works, what is it that the company needs and what is it that we have and how we can leverage our resources for a greater good. I was fortunate enough to be inducted into the Engineering Hall of Fame a couple years ago and that in itself was a huge honor. Um, totally not expecting this and in fact I tried to talk um, the committee out of it. I thought, you know, I, have, I feel like I have so much to do, so much more to accomplish and um, I was told, look, this is not a lifetime achievement award so um, we believe you're a distinguished alumna and so um, I decided that I would go for it and be recognized because I think it's important, again, um, to serve as a role model to women and other people of color who may be at the university now or on their way there um, to see successful graduates from the University of Rhode Island and see us you know, really living our dreams.